Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone. Thank you for coming back to the channel. And we are getting messages and news articles uh showing up popping up on the web and we have this one <laughs> that um bethany ben, oh, bethany frankel the skinny um model or skinny food products that she put out um y'all should know her once y'all see her pitch y'all know who i'm talking about but just when you think black folks I always say black folks tear down other black folks no we got a white person on a white person tearing down <laughs> each other so it just doesn't come in black race it comes in asian uh <coughs> excuse me um caucasian uh native american any other race you still get some haters or some people giving their opinions on their same race and what they're trying to promote now kim has promoted her skin care line now we all know what the packaging look like if you haven't been following kim's uh promotions and ads she's been doing on her skin care uh campaign skin care campaign uh you've been missing stuff but i want to bring up something that is a blast from the past but not so much in the past y'all remember lori harvey had bought out her skincare product and it was skn and then shortly after everybody was giving her a glowing recommendation kim went and changed her packaging to skkn isn't that similar <laughs> from skn to skk yeah but that's not the first time people have said kim have hooked with bamboozled and stole people's ideas okay but it just is what it is but we got Beth bethany frankel giving her two cents in on kim kardashian's skincare line and she kind of like half-heartedly gave her a a sideways one up and then turned around and took that away and gave her a side a you know just, just what do you call it um mm, a nice nasty compliment when it came to her products she was putting out there because you know bethany is known to review products okay especially makeup and skincare products and she gets her two cents in and it will make you think if i like bethany and i think she's going to give me uh her honest review then i'm not going to buy the product you okay you see how the power of suggestion is giving to the public and depending on who you like in the celebrity world and if they tell you this shit is crap you may or may not buy the product child that's too much of a, a follower type mentality and i can't get with it i'm more so like a leader i can play the following uh follower um viewpoints to a certain extent because i'm one of them people that have to ask questions and, and i don't keep my mouth closed until i find the answers to my questions okay and that kind of that type of thinking can irritate other people you know what i'm saying especially narcissists or anything like that but we're gonna move on from there that's neither here nor there but we got page six giving us a story on like i said bethany frankel um critiquing kim kardashian skincare line and calling it impractical at best the article was written up by alex breeden and he works for page six style okay and there you can see the two products hand in hand and <laughs> the shape of the products as well as the skn or the skkn is really deemed as a ripoff for uh kim kardashian ripping out this young lady's uh skincare products so you can see it however you see it but <laughs> the proof is in the pudding and i gave you evidence as of uh the products that 
Lord Harvey was expressing that Kim had stole her idea. But again, we go into the article. It says Bethany Frankel didn't hold back while reviewing Kim Kardashian's new skincare line, SKKN, by Kim on TikTok. Oh, who would have known Bethany at her age would be on something like a kitty uh, site, you know, doing different uh, skits and all that. TikTok, oh my goodness, Bethany. Anyway, the reality star 51 had a laundry list of critiques as she sampled two of the products, calling them impractical at best and somewhat overpriced. All right, give it to us. Bethany, give us the tea on that product okay in case we want to go out there and try it and we you know we can't be wasting our money over here i'm kind of frugal at times but then sometimes i'm a little obsessive okay I'm, but i'm trying to get uh myself to a uh mentally in my mind comings of the um uh, what do you call it <laughs> trying to make myself understand it you cannot keep buying costume jewelry everybody's gonna always make something new and shiny you're gonna always want to do it i'm addicted y'all i'm just addicted to paparazzi okay but I'm, I'm working on it i'm working on it and i some of my family here on youtube they don't told me to stop this shit <laughs> <laughs> but I keep still trying to think should, should I go should, I, I deserve this should I do this should I do? and I end up watching so many consultants oh child please anyway that's another story for another video okay we got Franco called the egg shaped eye cream that's worth $75 or who or is being charged out at $75 packaging is bulbous saying I don't understand it because it doesn't stack she added I don't have a circular house or medicine cabinet it doesn't even have a flat bottom so it's ineffective like an egg so it's no it's, she said it's effectively like an egg franco went on to compare the 41 year old reality stars exfoliator that costs 55 dollars product packaging to a rubik's cube calling design a wet and wild idea referencing the well-known drugstore brand and i like wet and wild i hope they ain't trying to say that ain't no good brand because i used to well hell i still use it as well as black radiance mm -hmm. does me good at least i think so anyway okay but then going back to the article it says bethany frankel didn't hold back while reviewing products from kim kardashian's new skincare line tearing into the size of the explosive exfoliator the former housewife said how are you going to travel with this you have to be a billionaire to use this product because if you don't have a private plane how are you how are you traveling with this product it's just not practical okay and she's talking about kim egg shape or circular or cylinder type capsules of the product being showcased in okay going back to the article it says in a two-minute critique franco also asked is it worth the money they're charging unlikely one user thanked her for the honest review writing in the comment section you just save me money i travel way too much another user said the circle one looks like an eos lip balm packaging lol to which frankly Franco replied, yes, I thought that. Okay. Then she goes on to say the big shot with Bethany star did eventually share some compliments of the Kardashian beauty line, calling the eye cream a luxurious product with a melted butter consistency. However, the Bravoletti followed up her compliment by saying the Kardashian's eye cream isn't super rich okay overall it doesn't seem like frank was satisfied with the quality of the kardashian in line saying i would feel like for this price tag it would be like chanel or chantilly cali uh sisley rich she argued okay it's not kardashian rich it's richer than i am maybe but it's not kardashian rich franco wrapped up her scathing review by saying it's a good quality product that's likely somewhat overpriced but most beauty is overpriced the skin skkn by kim line includes nine products a cleanser a toner exfoliator a hyaluronic acid serum vitamin c serum face cream eye cream all drops and night oil which launched on june 21 of this year okay and then we're gonna listen to what um Franco had recorded on her TikTok. So hold on. This shocks me. Kim Kardashian's skincare line S. Hello. KKN 
by Kim. So I bought these two products, the exfoliator and the under eye product, because I know these two products very well, meaning this category of skincare. Any line that makes it like you really... really need to do all of the steps is just doing... a smash and grab job because your skin is different every day. The packaging. This is an eye cream. It is bulbous. I don't understand it because it doesn't stack. I don't have a circular house or medicine cabinet, so it doesn't So it's effectively like an egg. I guess it has like a tiny little flat bottom, but that's impractical at best. This is crazy. It's gigantic. How are you going to travel with this? If you don't have a private plane, you have to be a billionaire to use this product because you don't have a private plane. How are you traveling with this? It's just not practical. I'm a very practical and organized person. This shocks me because don't the Kardashians organize their jelly beans by color? Oh, oh my god, it's a Rubik's Cube. Hear that sound? That's satisfying. Only Kim Kardashian could take a Rubik's Cube next time. And open it up. That's a good idea. You know that's a wet, wild idea. I get on that. Open up the Rubik's Cube and it's skincare. Anyway, I digress. Bulko. The actual product of the exfoliant has a little bit of a fragrance. It's no problem. And it's got those micro white granules. You know, we've seen them before. I feel like it was proactive or somebody else had those micro white granules. Those different lines have them. I like that form of exfoliating is it worth the money they're charging unlikely and as far as the eye cream luxurious product very nice like a melted butter consistency but not like ultra rich i would feel like for this price tag it would be chantecai sicily rich it's not kardashian rich it's richer than i am and maybe but it's not kardashian rich this is definitely good skincare this is quality i just think it's extremely impractical in its packaging i know that that very ecologically sound it's a good quality product that's likely somewhat overpriced but most beauty is it's overpriced okay and that was pretty much um what she had to auto what do you call it auto autoly say okay I want y'all to hear that and that I just didn't read it wrong. That's actually what she said about the skin product. But like I said, she was nice, nasty about it. She still purchased it. Unless Kim um, sent her free packaging of her product, all the whole line, and she was just critiquing it. But, you know, like she said at the end, all beauty products are definitely high priced and high maintenance. So, if you just like this consistency, if it shows up that it's doing something for your face and your, um, I guess, mentalness, um, just buy it, okay? You only live once, right? <laughs> but if it's a crappy product, then, you know, it just is what it is. You, you're not going to buy it anymore. You're not going to suggest to your friends or your uh, fans that follow you on any social media platform, you know, 
you're just not going to say anything good about it. But like I said, she gave her a nice, nasty compliment. She did like the um, buttery, melted, I don't know, cream that you put on your eyes and on your face. She gave that an overwhelming, good, positive review. But I think she was just more so not happy with the ergonomical um, size and shape of the product. Okay, that's all they, I could really see. She liked the product. She'll probably buy it again. But I don't understand what she was talking about. But it was an egg type shape. I mean, yeah, if you're in a hurry and you got this egg shape, you're trying to put on the, med the medicine, well, not medicine, but makeup on your face or grooming, um, glowing your skin, moisturizing it. Yeah, it could roll off your uh, nightstand or whatever. But, you know, it just is what it is. And the Rubik Cube, other cream formation she was having. I mean, I think she was just, maybe it's targeted to a younger uh, group of consumers. And it's not necessarily 50 plus uh, practical. But, you know, like I said, it is what it is. But, hey, it was a nice story. I thought y'all could use it. Okay, because I always try to give y'all stories you can use and be informed about. And then you get down in the comments and tell me what you felt about the topic subject. Okay? Because that's what we do. We're family. We're family over here. We have to discuss shit like this. Okay? So people won't make the same mistakes that others have, have made. Especially when it comes to the skincare lines. Uh, because they are expensive. I don't care if they are lower cost uh, type of product to the extreme m uh, millionaire or billionaire products. Uh, it still could be a waste. Okay, you know what I'm saying? So buy what you feel works better for you. Whether it's in the lower market or the higher market or the middle market. Okay? Uh, no skincare product fits like a hand in glove for everyone. Alright, but that's all I had, guys. Get down in those comments. You know, I like to hear from you all. And I'll see you next video. Bye-bye.